Pet hamsters belonging to monkeypox patients should be isolated or killed, say health chiefs. Here's a summary of the article. Other animals, including dogs and cats, should also be kept indoors, but can isolate at home as the risks of contracting the virus are lower. The Telegraph understands the UK government is set to publish similar advice in the coming days, urging monkeypox patients to keep their distance from animals. In 2003, an outbreak in the United States was traced back to animals imported as pets from Ghana, two rope squirrels, a Gambian rat and three dormice. The animals infected nearby prairie dogs at a wholesale pet store and the prairie dogs infected 47 people in six states. America has since prohibited the importation of all African rodents. Professor David Robertson, of the Glasgow Center for Virus Research, told The Telegraph that although the threat of monkeypox jumping from humans to pets to wildlife is low, it is a valid concern. If this happens, it would be incredibly difficult to trace the spread of the virus, which could jump back into humans from wildlife, triggering recurrent outbreaks. Rabbits and mice would be ones to watch, as they're likely to be kept as pets, Dr. Robertson said, pointing to a 1976 study which concluded they can catch the virus. This post received a score of 15,000, with an up-vote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I gotta say that's a great picture choice. Buddies like, say what now? Oh. Oh. Yep. That's me. I bet you're wondering how I got here. Are people not isolating their hamsters within their household? You kidding? We get all the hamsters on the block together twice a week. They all wear little suits or dresses, dance to classical music, and eat sunflower seeds. You must not live on a block if this is news. You're full of shit. They wear track suits and dance to bad hip-hop. I've seen the Kia commercials. Well, depends where you live. Different smocks for different blocks as we always say. You knock my smock, I'll clean your clock. I guess it wouldn't show if dad wore his suit coat. I did not expect this reference. Moreover, I did not expect to remember this reference. Little help? Calvin and Hobbes. I'd like to see the Venn diagram of people with monkeypox who also own hamsters. In 2003 there was an outbreak with 47 people infected from pet prairie dogs. If anyone is curious how it probably spread, I lived in a town where elementary school kids would go out into the prairies and shoot then pick up prairie dogs and carry them barehanded to a guy in town with a deep freezer who'd give the kid 10 cents apiece. I can assure you hand washing or hand sanitizing or even knowledge of them fancy learning words about germs was for those stupid stuck up city folk. It was a program the farmers funded to reduce the damage done to crop fields, cattle fields by prairie dogs by reducing the population by incorporating the kids. Gives them a future gosh darn it. I'm not sure I want to know the answer, but what does one do with a deep freezer full of prairie dogs? That I never did find out. Fertilizer. Feed the dog or cats. Edit. Can't spell good. There's this Google result. God damn that was an interesting and weird read. I miss good blogs. What a specific and morbid headline that most of us did not anticipate reading today. I was ready for this today. It was either going to be this or we were going to hear that they found a way to use all the scraps from circumcisions as a new energy source. It just happened to be the hamsters. They'll get the nuclear foreskin generator going someday. You just gotta believe. Foreskin fission. Circumfission. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. I thought this was the onion. The onion really embodies our reality. This is our timeline. The Onion's homepage right now is literally just the same headline over and over about how we can't solve a problem other countries don't have. And hash X 200B. So yes, that is correct. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.